He is agonizing. He's in distress. And he said, God, you know what? This, this seems to be a little bit, uh, I think this is going to be hard. Is there a way that I may bypass this? But Lord, not my will be done. But your will be done. When he said that, you know what he did? He had full submission. He submitted himself to the will of God. Now, let me explain a little bit about the word submission. And so in our society, the word submission is, is it has a bad connotation. So a lot of times when we use the word submission, we think it's, you know, we think it's that we're someone's slave. Or we think it, it means that we're inferior to the next person. Submission, really, when you look at the root of the, the root of the word, submission. Submission. The word sub means under, and then you have mission. So the word submission literally means to be under someone's mission. Does that make sense? The word submission, it literally means to be under someone's mission or to serve someone's mission or vision. So let me illustrate that for you. Let's say this table here, right? This table, let's say this table represents God's mission for your life. This table represents God's mission. When it comes to God's will, God's purpose for your life, there are two positions that you can have when it comes to God's will. Number one, you can either be on top of God's mission, okay? This is, this is what it looks like when you're on top of God's mission. It's your will. It's your will. It's your relationship. And so even though God has a mission, he has a purpose for you, but when you're over God's mission, it's you're running your life. The only problem is, if I were to step on this table, the only problem is that if I'm under, if I'm over God's mission, I can fall at any point of time because I'm over his mission. And so I'm over his mission. It's my way, my life, my relationship. I go to school to learn what I want to do, and I do whatever I do, do with my money. If, if you're running your life, no problem. Run your life. Run your life. The only thing is that it gets to be shaky. And so when you kick God out of your life, whatever happens, happens. Because you kick him out already. And you it's your own mission now. You're over the mission of God. You're over the purpose of God. You're over the will of God for yourself. That's the first way you can be when it comes to God's mission. You can either be over it, or you can submit and be submitted to God, which is called submission. Submission looks like this. It's an act. It's an act of complete and total surrender to God and to the purposes of God. To be here, you have to let go of your pride. To be here, you have to let go of your plan, your relationship, your business, the way you want your life to be. To be here, you have to let those things go. But let me tell you, this is the safest place for you to be under his will. And so Jesus Christ, he had a mission. He had a mission, but it was almost like he was saying, God, is this possible for me to be, you know, for this to be taken away from me? But not my will. I'm going to be submitted to you. And he submitted to the mission and he came under the mission of God. The best place for you to be is under the will and under the submission of God. Now let me add, let me show you what happens when you're submitted to God. Let me show you what happens when you total, when you totally submit to God. Look at James chapter 4, verse 7. And I'm almost done with you, but I want you to see this verse. It said, what does it say? What's the first word? What's the first word? What's the first word again? Submit therefore to God. Resist the devil. 
and he will flee from you. Remember when I started this morning and I talked about the tools of the enemy and maybe the most powerful tool of the enemy is the tool of discouragement? So I pray that this verse will help you. It says if you submit, if you go under the mission of God and you resist the devil, what happens is that the devil flees away from you. And so if the devil is running from you, discouragement is also running away from you. Depression is always running, is always, is also running away from you. Anxiety and all types of mental health problems, they are running away from you. But it takes an act of total submission to the will and to the purposes of God. 